Good morning everybody, just getting out a couple of shipments this morning that I sold and then I'm going to be heading out for a bit of a sourcing day today. So let me show you the things that I sold and hopefully this time I'll be able to tell you because I'm going to show you before I package them. Well, they're already packed but I'll make sure that I know which item's which. Item number one going out is this Cardinal St. Louis Majestic Baseball Jersey which is right here. This one sold for about 30 bucks. That's so package ready to go. While I'm packaging up, I'm watching a bit of CP. The pedal on the beat when you're playing the game. So it's like signal, signal, signal. And the other item going out is a pair of shoes. They are these ones right here. They're a men's Salomon Speed Cross 3 trials. I'd only get a bit more for these, around the 45 bucks, but I accepted like 30 bucks for these ones. Alright guys, let's get these shipments out. I'm also pretty stoked about my current Amazon sales. The last two days have been good. They've been sales, I guess, and pretty motivational. Well, let me see if I can quickly show you guys the few sales that I've been making over uh, the last two days, because some shipment just got in. It's good to get the Amazon sales back up. They've just been zero. Made another sale just for a while, so. Check it out, sitting at 197 USD for the last two days. I'm gonna start the day off with a bit of a thrift. I'm heading into the first salvos for today. All right, guys, check it out. They've got this pretty awesome Kuji sweater here. It's one of the early ones, spelled incorrectly. Size extra large, really colorful. Awesome sweater. I'm also gonna get this David Smith shirt, made in Australia. Size medium, really good brand here. Awesome shirt, nice and colorful. Matches the QG. All right guys, there's a few good little pickups in that thrift. That David Smith shirt, it should sell for about 30 bucks or so. It's a really good brand, very rare and hard to come by in the thrifts, but when you get them, they're always good sellers. And that QG, I don't know, because it's spelled C-U-G-G-I, instead of C-O-O-G-I. From my previous experience, it's like from the 1960s or something like that, because they changed the name later on in around the 70s or something. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that's what it is. So it's like a really old one. Considering that has really cool colors, that could be up to a $300 jumper, but I'm just gonna do my research and find out what I could get for it. Probably like a minimum of 100 bucks. I'm probably gonna head over to the Maccas across the road here just to use their Wi-Fi and just plan out a a map today like a, an address list of all the thrifts that i'm going to hit up today because i have a wholesale deal on the other side of the city so i want to try and make my way across there by the end of the day just went into a thrift i didn't find anything but there is an oz post here so i'm going to get my parcels and get them out of the way get them sent out hi there how good how are you sir good, thank you Great, thank you. Have a good one. You too, thank you. See ya. Alright guys, made it into another thrift and they have this awesome Rolling Stones t-shirt. I'm not sure if it is vintage though. Tag does look like it. Made in the USA. And it's got this cool print on the back. I just got out of that thrift guys. I picked up that shirt but I think I might go back in there because a the lady just came out with a Jordan sweater and I think they have really good resale value for four bucks so I'm going to go back in there and, and get that as well. Here it is. I think I might pop on it. Air Jordan sweater. Four bucks. So I'm out the front of the Vinnie's and I was looking at getting this one here, this giant animator. Um, I thought it was like 15 bucks, but it's 75. It only has like a resale value of 50, so it can stay there. But I'm going to head over to a Savers, which is just across the road here. Hit that one up and hit up the Salvos next door. Alright guys, just went into Savers and I got quite a few things, but I'm pretty disappointed on one thing. Let me talk to you about that in the car. Well, I picked up quite a lot of vintage tea for Lane. Some really nice pieces. And I got some textbooks as well, which will be going out to Amazon. But I got some really good ones. So the first one is this 1997 Australia Motorcycle Grand Prix t-shirt. Uh, six bucks I had on this one. Um, maybe this is like a $30 shirt, generally like the lower end vintage stuff, vintage tees are about 30 bucks or so, so we'll see how we go with that one. The next item is pretty cool, it's a Lion King shirt, this is vintage, sort of like a freaking tie-dye style one, Disney, 
it is an amazing piece this cost me how much did it cost me it cost me six dollars and i saw one very similar almost exactly the same just different text of the lion king for something like 80 bucks on etsy so that's pretty awesome the next item is a ricky martin tee by the brand top heavy reason why i know that is vintage i've dealt with that brand quite a lot of times with vintage tees i paid eight bucks for this one this is probably like a another 30 dollar minimum shirt i haven't really looked them up yet so i'm not sure I will have to do more research. I also picked up this pretty awesome Los Angeles uh, size. <clears throat> who cares what the size is? Uh, Six dollars it cost me. It's a vintage from 1987. That's pretty sick, and the colors are awesome on this one. Maybe thirty dollars, but probably more. I'm thinking a bit more because it's in the 80s, maybe. <clears throat> and then I picked up a Bulls Jordan 23 jersey, Guernsey, whatever they're called. This is to be appraised. I'm not sure if this is real or legit. I just picked it up because it was four bucks. I don't know. That looks kind of dodgy there. But um, I'm just thinking because it's possibly vintage. That's probably why. This tag up here like looks and feels really legit. Like that secondary tag is kind of legit looking. And then that kind of looks legit too. I don't know. I've never dealt with this. And I saw the comps go for quite a lot if they're vintage. It has some separation of the stitching and stuff but if you guys know anything about this one definitely let me know whether or not it's a fake or not i'm gonna do more research on that but what i want to talk to you guys about specifically i was in savers there for a good hour just flicking through the tees and i came across what seemed the holy grail of the king of pop vintage t-shirts that is michael jackson t-shirts there was about six of them and i thought i was in for a good payday but it turned out that they were fakes or they were thailand editions of vintage king of pop t-shirts which is really disappointing because i thought i was on the jackpot run there uh, as you can see on the screen like i was in the change room just going through these to do research and stuff while i was trying on because i wanted to try on one of the shirts there too but to be honest i was um just in there i like to do research and just sit in the changing room especially in savers and just go through all the stuff it kind of looks less uh sus and stuff and also like when i was scanning through the books i'm going off subject here when i was scanning through these books i got some really good books too like one of the customers there she's like do you work here because she thought i was like a savers worker because i was scanning through all the books and stuff and she was like wondering what i was doing and i'm like no nah, i don't work here and then she just turned around and walked away it was pretty strange but anyway going back to the michael jackson t-shirts i thought i was in for a treat i was looking up the comps or the the Etsy listings for Michael Jackson vintage tees and they were crazy some were selling for two thousand dollars oh it was insane but I was really disappointed because I saw on the back it it said Thailand and I'm definitely sure if it says Thailand it isn't vintage hopefully that's the case because someone else is going to get a jackpot but from my experience I think they're fake even one of them said 1998 on it which said to me this is vintage but then it looked a little dodgy and it wasn't really printed properly. After doing further research, I come to the conclusion that they're fakes or they're not vintage. So I just left them there. But I was I thought I was in for an awesome day there. I still picked up some pretty cool stuff. Also, these books here, guys, are doing really well on Amazon. This is probably like a 70 US dollar book, so that's like 100 bucks right there. And then these ones are like 40 to 50 dollar books. So I definitely scored here at the Savers. I'm going to head west side of um, Melbourne to pick up a potential wholesale deal. We'll see how that goes. I'm just going to look at the items that they have. It's um, mostly women's stuff, but I'm going to try and make my way down there. I don't even know what the time is. But yeah, Whew. that was crazy. Didn't really get the chance to go to Macca's like I said I would to plan out like which thrifts I'm going to hit up today. But I'm just going off ones that I've been to in in uh in the past and what have been good so i'm just kind of free balling it <laughs> free balling it. kind of just giving it a whirl see how she goes but i'm going to another thrift what i did guys is i cancelled the uh i guess appointment or meet up for buying the potential bulk lot of clothing uh, i don't want to go through with the deal so i just told them that i won't be turning up instead i'll be able to get home earlier because i was gonna meet them there at like quarter past six or something and then i wouldn't get home until like eight o'clock because it's a really long drive traffic is super bad today i've been like 
just rolling down the highway for the last hour or so I'm sort of glad I decided to leave when I did because oh it took me forever to get home I did pretty well today with thrifting I picked up one other item let me show you that when I get back home but damn traffic is so slow Just listing everything that I picked up today. I want to show you the one item that I did pick up that I didn't get to show you it's sitting here on the table. It is a Chicago Bulls vintage t shirt. The brand is Starter. So I paid, I think it was five bucks for this. I'm probably going to ask like 40 bucks or so. I've done a little research, so I think I could probably get like 40 for it. it has quite a lot of fading here on the print though. But that is it from me today, everyone. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch up with you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.